Richard, it's Big John. You okay? Hi, Big John. It's Daniel. How are you? Okay? Daniel, you sounded sexy for once. Sorry, mate. I thought it was Richard. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Listen, can I give you a order? We've got Courtney Laws round for the Big John Chinese sit down. Right, could I have um, a shredded chicken charming, two plain charmings, uh, a Singapore rice noodle, two egg fried rice, two special fried rice, two special fried rice, sweet and sour chicken balls, sweet and sour chicken balls, sweet and sour prawn balls. Uh, we'll have sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong style, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong style, salt and chili king prawn, salt and chili chicken. Uh, we'll have a boiled rice as well, please, for Johnny. Uh, beef in black bean sauce. Shredded chilli beef, two portions of spicy pork, one roast chicken Chinese style, three portions of chips, we'll have a curry sauce and a barbecue sauce please, mini spring rolls. Now that's enough isn't it Charlotte? You want me to take your order John? Yes please, yeah if you can, just so I'll make sure. You've got the chicken chow mein, yeah. plain chow mein, and some Singapore rice noodles, uh, two special fried rices, two egg fried rices, uh, the chicken ball, prawn balls, Sweet and sour chicken, sweet and sour pork, uh, salt and chili pork, salt and chili chicken, plain boiled rice, beef and black bean sauce, chili beef, two spicy porks, chicken Chinese style, fried chips, curry sauce, barbecue sauce, and a spin rolls. Emery, have we missed anything to think? Uh, what about roast duck Chinese style? And I'll have a roast duck Chinese style, please. Thanks, Daniel. How long, sir? Lovely. See you then. Cheers, All right. John. Cheers, Daniel. Bye, mate. Bye. All just sorted. But. <laughs> It's that time again. The Big John Chinese sit down is back. And there was someone knocking at Big John's door. Cool, how are you, sir? Hey, mate. Big room person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bloody hell, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I thought Joe Joyce was big. He's fucking bigger than Joe. <laughs> right, come in, come in, sir. And for episode three of series two, we host Big Courts, Courtney Laws, England rugby legend. Big Courts has 278 Northampton Saints appearances to his name and 105 England caps. He is also to be inducted into the Rugby Players Association Hall of Fame. He really is an all-time rugby legend. Doing right, yeah. Doing right, yeah. And as always on a Big John Chinese sit-down, we had a few Bosch soldiers joining us, including Matram Al. He was a top dog at Matram Boxing, but aside from that, he was a well-connected man in general. And he sometimes helped Big John smuggle Kung Po prawns in and out of the country. Got a match, a match from man here, look. He was so well-connected, he knew Big Courts already. And we have Kindog, a loyal boss soldier who would bleed sweet and sour sauce for the Kung Po Empire. We're gonna go get the Chinese in a minute. Wait for the flag man stays here, then it's sure it stays here, but wait for Johnny. Right. Don't listen to a word he says about me. <laughs> <laughs> The flag man goes way back with Big John, an elder of the firm, but could still batter you like a compo prawn. <laughs> and here we have Big Soul, likes to finger chicken chow mein for some reason. Don't ask why, think it's a fetish of his. And finally, the run for ball, who just beat Alan Babich in his first headline show at the Copper Box Arena in 36 seconds. <laughs> But today's not about you, Johnny, so calm the f down about that. We were here for a Chinese with a main man, Courtney Laws, and it was time to go and collect the Chinese from our local, the Blue Orchid. Oh, and there was one more geezer with us, and he was one old geezer at that. Ex-professional boxer, Jess Hard-Hitting Harding. Anyway, let's get into the Blue Orchid. I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce our latest and newest sponsor, Racing Club. Racing Club is a syndicate which offers shares in racehorses for just £45 for the syndicate term. Shareholders can expect regular updates on the horses, regular visits to the stables and to see the horses in training. A share of the prize money and a chance to see your horse in action. An extra bonus for Racing Club members is the opportunity to enter regular ballots to win hospitality tickets to the O2, Wembley, Southampton FC and Newbury Racecourse. Racing Club also offer a VIP service for those people looking to buy a bigger share or buy their own racehorse outright. The link for Racing Club is in the description of this video. Yeah. Yeah. Look, back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen her. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I'll. And the lads had left the blue orchid with Chinese in hand. 
as if it were bags of cash after a bank robbery. Time to get it home. Yep. Five bags of fucking Chinese with corky laws. This ah. is. And they'd made it back with five bags of Chinese. It was dinner time in Romford Town. Oh, look at the that looks good, doesn't it? That'd be pork, that'd be chicken. Yeah. Prawns, prawns, chili prawns, prawns, prawns. Chili prawns, yeah, right. chili chicken. Right, uh, we're with England Lug uh, England Lug <laughs> Rugby. It's because I'm getting tense. We're with England rugby legend and Northampton. All time great Courtney Laws. Got a lot of Chinese here from the Blue Orchid, thank you very much. But I'm a little bit concerned that he's a bit too eager to get the food, so uh, might have to uh, try and push him out of the way. I don't think you're going to be able to do that. I don't know, Johnny. I've built up a bit of bulk over the years. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're looking forward to this, thank you very much. Let's see what the night entails. Courtney, help yourself, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to have a lot, but what I want, I want to enjoy. When you're on a plane and they're going through the safety procedures, they tell you to apply your own oxygen mask before you help others. And that's exactly how Big John saw the Chinese. He needed to sort his own one out before anyone else's, because that was the safest way for everyone. No, I'm not going to be a pig because we've got a lot of guests around. <laughs> I'm nearly done, Ned, I'm nearly done. What I'm feel like finding with Courtney is like one of them all inclusive buffet. He just won't fucking move up, will he? <laughs> In a minute, he's just gonna turn around and go, posh. <laughs> right, I'm done, lads. That's me. I'm gonna double dip, don't worry about that. <laughs> Look at that. It's giving me this one to try. try Four hours, hours it could be. Fucking hell. Look, they cooked them so well. Don't forget the chicken balls. The corn balls there as well. And finally, after building a castle of Chinese food on his plate, Big John was ready to sit down with Courtney Laws, England rugby legend. Let's get into it. A big thank you to all of our sponsors for making this possible. Check the link in the description to check them out. They're the best at what they do. I've never seen so many people eating Chinese yeah. in one place, they're not in a Chinese with restaurant. Their plates as well, look, like they're not sitting on, down. Look, get them on, look. <laughs> Was everyone thinking the blue orchid good? What's your first impressions, Courtney? Very good, mate. Nice. Yeah, really. And really are you a, a big Chinese man? Is that your go-to takeaway, or I think it would be my go-to. Yeah. yeah, you can't go better than it. Your ideal comfort food. Isn't you it? can uh, you can choose about eight, nine, ten different things yeah, if you want 100%. as well. The good thing about the blue orchid, it cooks everything fresh. Sometimes I go in there and he does me a bit of skate or a bit of sea bass. So you can have. It's not like a Chinese where you're going. It's just takeaway all the time, is it? Was you always rugby, or was there any other sports when you was younger? No, I didn't play rugby until I was about 13. I did kickboxing growing up. Did you? Really? Yeah, um, and I played tennis and football mainly. I also saw that you MMA fan as well, aren't you? Mixed martial arts. Yeah. Yeah, big part. I trained in the UFC gym in Las Vegas and um, seen a lot of the guys walking around like Francis and Gannou. Yeah. Khabib, he was walking about. Six. But he had about 20 people. Walking yeah, around yeah, him, yeah. so you can't go up to him and say hello. Mm. Gen said he likes a bit of boxing as well. Lewis Ludlam said he's done a bit in the past as well. Mm. Maybe have a little spa one day. Yeah, do you ever do that in the England camps? Do you ever have boxing training or? You only ever do pad work, really. Pad work, yeah, just a bit of pads. What do you weigh, Courtney? Uh, we do it as in kilos, yeah. so I'm like 116, 117. Yeah. So like bit, bit heavier than you, isn't it? I'm about yeah. 111, 110, around that mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about 410. <laughs> <laughs> 410. <laughs> Courtney was loving a blue orchid, so much so. He was onto his second plate. Right, right. Stay away from it's, soul. It's just it's all it's nice enough, you know. Just enough, right? Yeah, keep soul well away from the Chinese. What's Charming. he doing? Why is he, why is he that close? He's a broken record, the man. He doesn't stop. <laughs> because I speak in facts, and that bloke is a violation of Chinese takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh, you've had a hard season. Yes. You've got a big couple of years coming up moving to France. Indeed. Are you going on holiday with the family? Yeah, we're going to Cornwall. Oh, uh, lovely, I love Cornwall. Where are you going anyway? What part of Cornwall do you know? I don't even know. We normally go near Newquay, Padstow. Yeah, Padstow, that's where I love it. Up there. Yeah, it's, it's, we, we stayed at the Headland Hotel a couple of times. If you've got a day, they've got a spa there, haven't they? Yeah, Fistral, 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 Fistral Beach, Fistral 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 wonderful. The uh, Headland Hotel in Newquay. Nice drop of offshore pills out of the same pool to make Doombar. Bar. 
Cornwall's good. When the weather's good, I prefer Cornwall to most places. Mate, honest. Cornwall is um, such an amazing place, especially the fact that you can take your dog and stuff like that. Yeah. You want to spill everywhere. Oh, that's right. That's it. Got that, no. There we go. Look at this. He's going on. Curry sauce all over his rice. Perfect. Perfect combination. You ever want to try in normally, do you? I haven't had any today. Oh, I'm not. Oh, cutting down. Cutting down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cutting down. Summer season's coming up, and I've got to fit in me budgie smugglers. Yes! Yeah. Oh, they've been a treat! That's it. That's it. Bad. Did you go through the uh, academy system, like Northampton Saints, the whole yeah, way yeah, through? Yeah, all the way through, mate, yeah. And your England debut, when was that and who did you play, Courtney? I uh, played Australia in the autumn of 2009. Bloody hell. With my first England. Was that over here, one of the autumn tests? One of the autumn? Is it Twickenham? Autumn International. Yeah, 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 yeah so it's at Twickenham. I came off the bench. Um, but Did yeah, we win? That's pretty mad. No, we lost that game. Got about 12 minutes, I think. <coughs> it's but weird, uh, though, because when you think of um, England teams, you always think, oh, it's Courtney Laws in the pack. Is he going to be in there? Like, he's just one of I've their said names. That. I've so said you're that. always, yeah. always there. And now it's going to be like, there's a bit of a change in the guard. Yeah, the England yeah. team might yeah, be too it's like When they say, oh, Jamie George is playing, you go, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that as well. Yeah. I remember that tackle you done yeah. against the French guy. We you said timed it. it. You, I think you said you time it perfectly. Not past the road. It was a, it was the ten or the nine. Nice yeah, that's him. And he's just his whole body's just a whiplash. Henry, yeah. find Put that highlight clip. in there. Yeah, where's nah. Henry gone? I don't know, but we'll do it. we'll yeah. see it on the video. But. <laughs> you could time it. So if I could time it around their breakdown and not break my stride by the time they pass the ball, then I knew I could get to the ten before or as around when he's going to pass it. <laughs> what is the what is the best thing about rugby and the worst thing about rugby? The best thing about rugby is probably like the camaraderie of it. Um, the team, the like team, the team being with us. Yeah. Like yeah. See them all getting on a plane and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the travelling, travelling with them, just being like you wake up and you're straight into like banter, shit chat, like yeah, 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 and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff, and like just being with the lads a lot is, no, is right. what you miss. Yeah, um, right. it's yeah. like when you're away and you like um, uh, is everyone is everyone sensible. Like, you know, like people going to sleep or people knocking on people's doors. No, I've seen, I've seen Joe Marlow. What did he do to Jamie George's... Uh... Well, I think, it, I think they, they filled um, plastic cups up with water yeah, and, and then put them bed, all, yeah, all, all, all over it. They were, like, they were everywhere. It must have taken hours yeah, to set yeah, up. Yeah, that's a, that's a big commitment for... Yeah, yeah, serious. But how do you clear all that up? Oh, no. It's worth yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you go about doing it? The thing is, you're probably thinking, fuck, but you can't be seen as a... Yeah. Yeah, but you can't. You've got to clean it it's up just, because you can't yeah. walk. And it's also no, like you've got room. to take the joke as well. Yeah, Because right? yeah, yeah. there's nothing too bad that's happening that to is you. It's so it? funny. A lot of times, cling film, like they'll cling film everything in your bag <laughs> and then cling film your bag, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it just it takes forever to come up yeah, with yeah, some yeah, niggly stuff. But... And your worst experience? Oh. Uh, probably the World Cup final loss. Yeah. No, I'll be up there because. Yeah. Um, we, we we were doing so well that World Cup. Looked fantastic just, against New Zealand. We just didn't turn up. Is it game. just one of them on the day? You just didn't turn up. I think it's really hard to like back up multiple big games in a row unless you really get yeah. the week right. Because you had Australia in the quarters, yeah. New Zealand in the semis, yeah. and South Africa in the final. All of which were supposed to beat us. So like, yeah. Eddie, uh, I've seen Eddie. What he said, he said like he was at that high of New Zealand, and you. You didn't like regroup properly from that high, exactly, yeah. and that that's hard to do. That obviously beat New Zealand. It's very hard to um, we'll ask. We'll go through the questions in a minute. Yeah. Uh, any questions from the floor first? <laughs> I'm 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 expecting a good question from you, cousin Tell. Come on. As a rugby player, what's the most awkward thing that's ever happened to you on the pitch? Good oh, question. Man. That's a good question, mate. Right? Uh, that is a good question. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's got to think about this. Yeah. He's charming. <laughs> I don't know, it's awkward. Like a few times I've been grabbed in the bollocks. Not, not on but like when you're getting tackled, somebody yeah. like, That's what he was hoping you'd say is turning him off. Yeah. Actually, yeah. more awkward than that is when you feel someone, yeah. when you're tackling someone, you're like, oh, fucking hell, I'll just grab his dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't feel that strength, would you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happens a lot in the scrummage, I reckon, as well. <laughs> Second rows, you winding up. Let's go through some questions from the, uh, from the public. And I've, I said this off camera, we've had the most ever questions ever. I'm going to go have a look if there's any more. Is that beef left? Johnny, if there's a prawn ball up there, can you bring it over? Yeah. It must be prawn. Lazy bastard here. No, one more. Are you going up again? Yeah, why not? He's going for the hat trick, look. <laughs> Bob, this is good. He's going for the, he's going for the hat trick, look. Fuck it, I can't be that dumb. 
Can't, can't let good food go to waste, mate. Courtney was on his third plate of Chinese, but now it was time for him to answer some questions from you, the public. Best roommate you've ever had and why? Oh, Ellis Genge, of course, because he likes to game in the corridor of Penny Hall Park. So there's like, there's like an up down room that you can, yeah. that you get when you get a bit more senior in the team, and because the signal's so crap, Genji has to like set up shop in this little corridor. What to get connection to get the connection, line? Get connection for his games night. Most of the time he's sitting there naked on his on his <laughs> on his, uh, on his thing. But, but no, he is he is a he's a funny bloke. I do very yeah, much enjoy his company. Yeah. Right, this is from a, a regular on the show. We like to call it a show, even though it isn't. <laughs> Wayne A one five five, good mate Wayne Allen, the greatest yeah, player you've ever played with. I don't, it's really hard to say one because there have been so many. Like yeah. I played with Johnny Wilkinson, oh, Jesus, um, Owen Farrell will be up there. Manu Solani in his prime, definitely up there. Yeah. I'd say greatest in their prime would be Manu probably. I don't think anybody's yeah. Yeah. make an impact. That, yeah, yeah, that ball, yeah, had that much kind of. Impact on raw power, yeah, raw power, just the ability to just do stupid stuff. Do you know what I mean? This question's come up loads, and we've already touched on it. People sitting over there, your favorite biggest hit, your favorite hit, look, loads of them, your favorite memory of a hit, the one that's got your be tackle, long. best tackle you've ever done. Is it the one we've already spoke about? Uh, no, I probably my favorite one would probably be uh, Charlie Hodgson in the 2014 final. Um, just the timing of it, and yeah. that game was just. Um, unreal likes to be a part of so. We'll have to get that clip up here. Yeah. Get the clip up. This is from Sarah Mac TKD. Are you excited to join Breve Rugby Club? LA Cab? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a, it's a very different project to one I'm used to. Obviously, a different club. Um, and a massive change for me and my family, but I'm, I'm excited to get stuck So into you're taking it. your whole family over there, you're yeah. relocating. Yeah, yeah, we're all going. We're all and will going. you learn French? I'll learn French, yeah, I'll start yeah. learning French. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm... I'm... Comment tu t'appelles? <clears throat> Le Bosch. Je m'appelle <laughs> Ah oui, Le Bosch. Le Bosch. <laughs> Which Morton College sports tutor can you remember? Well, I didn't do sports in Morton College, so... <laughs> <laughs> Does the name Aaron Dawes mean anything to you? Uh, I'm afraid not. I Sorry, Aaron. Sorry, Aaron. I... Yeah. <laughs> Aaron fuck off, Aaron. Like... Get back to your bedroom and carry on with that one. <laughs> 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 what did you like at school? Did you enjoy your studies, like academic stuff or not really? Or... Do you know, no, I didn't. I didn't. Um, but I, now, I wish I had. I'm quite interested in history and yeah. stuff like that. And yeah. obviously I'm trying to learn French when I could have just done it in yeah. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, That's the thing I am fluent in French for my GCSE. <laughs> le Bosch. Le Bosch. I'm saying Le Bosch is not really <laughs> fluent in French. What do you prefer? Driving your shoulder into some poor bloke's ribs or a succulent Chinese meal? <laughs> <laughs> Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? A succulent the Chinese, Chinese meal? Yeah. What's Chinese. harder charges? We've got to do a clip with that at some point. Are you doing that coming out of a restaurant? Calm down, Johnny. All right, calm down, mate. What history are you into? That's the question I want to ask. There's a weight of intellect behind my comedy. Uh, is it any particular ancient history or...? He's bored. Look, he's bored already, look. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Johnny chats up birds with. That's what hence why he hasn't got... are not interested in the Napoleonic military strategy, yeah, I don't yeah, want to talk I, to I'm him. I'm interested in like, the, the military aspect of it, like yeah. just what it was like, stuff like that. It's yeah. amazing. I think about World War One, and now they just they just went in a row. They didn't they didn't run. They come over the trench and they've all got to walk towards the other trench. I'm like, that's not the best strategy. Yeah, why did that? Yeah, so many questions about your hits. It's oh, just really? unbelievable. <laughs> but this is a very interesting question. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses oh, or go. one horse-sized duck? <laughs> 100 duck-sized horses. No. I don't know. One horse-sized duck. It's still a duck. It's a big. Still duck. a duck, isn't it? Yeah. Like, 100 of anything can. Yeah, it can overwhelm you. Yeah. Are they, are they yeah. attacking? Are they being are Well, they, obviously, you're having a fight. Offensive? You're having a fight. Do they know you're having a fight? Or yeah, do they I know. just go up to them and start kicking them? They know you're having a fight. Yeah. All right. I'm taking the big the big duck. Yeah, you can move, outmaneuver it. Yeah, horses are tougher as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the duck probably more susceptible to a blow to the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about the Northampton game, though, in Europe just recently? Was it the semi-final or quarter-final? Semi against Leicester. Uh, Leicester, Le sorry. Yeah, you could have won that, couldn't you? Yeah, we could, yeah. 
Yeah. I was watching that and thinking, like, you yeah. you, you know, they, they thought they got away with that one. It's the fine margins, isn't it? It's As cool. Charlotte knows in bed. What? Knows what? Fine margins. <laughs> Inappropriate. We don't need to talk about that shit. Uh, fine margins. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to begin to imagine what that means. Yeah. Sometimes I'm a 10, sometimes a 9.9. It's just five margins. Let it go, let it go. Right, cards of doom then, me. It was time for cards of doom. A game of word association. If you say a repeated word, an unrelated word, or if you take too long to say a word, you must choose a card of doom. On each card of doom, there's a forfeit. But before we get to that, Big John wanted some more Chinese. Nothing left. Where's the charming? Where's the satay? Where's the sweet and sour chicken? Was that you, Stuart? Big John was upset. Someone had taken the last bit of Chinese, but when he finds out who it was, I think he'll understand. It was me, John. I ate chicken balls. You got a fucking problem. Oh dear. Six foot seven and built like a brick shit ass. Courtney Laws was the culprit. Let's see how Big John wriggles out of this one. Uh, Stuart! So! Johnny! That's all right, Courtney. If I knew it was you, I would have bought more. Tuck in. <laughs> Want a rib? John, fuck your ribs. This is my gaff now. Well, Courtney had told Big John straight. Anyway, Courtney eventually went home, and the next day, Big John was getting ready to film an episode of the Big John Chinese sit down. I'm glad that Courtney Laws has gone home. Big John Chinese sit down there. Plenty of Chinese for me. What's going on here? This is a big course, Chinese sit down now. Bosh. The big course, Chinese sit down. That's got a ring to it. Big John had been shown right up. But anyway, let's get back to the big John Chinese sit down. Where we're about to play Cards of Doom. We are now with Courtney Law's edition of Cards of Doom. Let's have it. Doom. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Porsche. Black. <laughs> you are out, so if you can't say black. Right, read it, read it to the camera what it is. Right, I've got to call a restaurant and ask if they do a certain dish that other players get to come up with the dish names. <laughs> right, so let's not talk about what we yeah. did last night. <laughs> Me and Courtney got to leave early, didn't we? <laughs> 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 right, come on then, what, what, what's the restaurant? Uh, what dish? So you're going to call up a restaurant and you're going to ask for a dish. Do you do, do you do f***ing flame? Cock of a flame? I think you should ask for um, a small Asian boy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that if they go, hold on a second, I'll put you through to the special line. <laughs> go, put it on speaker. Right, speaker. Small, Asian boy. Boy. Small Asian boy. Hello, <laughs> please my request a small Asian boy. Can I request a small Asian boy? Hello? Small Asian boy? Have I got the right number? <laughs> White. Uh, orange. Satsuma. Grapes. Not giving me colours. <laughs> <laughs> that was fruit. <laughs> oh, there you go. Come and solve. <laughs> Call a girl and tell her you've done away travelling for a few months. You're going to live on a porch on the Thames for two months. <laughs> Ask if she wants to join you on the card for the summer. <laughs> She won't answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gonna go voicemail, isn't it? Well, that that's, probably, that's probably worse than that's probably a worse one. It's, it's happened with all the birds, unfortunately. You got a ring until. <laughs> so you got two more yeah, points to make. If you don't get one, we're gonna feel oh, the same no. worse. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, Five minutes burn up here. Good. Oh seven. She ain't even got an answer to him. She might not answer because she don't know the number. Oh. 
Yeah, we'll bend up there. Yeah. I know what the punishment is if this doesn't answer. You might have to say no, Johnny. Captain. Welcome to the Oh, so. Hello. 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 He technically right. didn't was... say he was going on the barge. No, he didn't say that. I've got to compromise. If, if any of them two call him back, you've still got to do it. Ooh. Yeah, put your phone yeah, on. If no, Alex calls you back. back. No, no, Alex no. might. Same for Shop. Tesco. Lidl. Uh, Asa. Aldi. Okay. MS. Waitrose. Shopping. Supermarket. Same for Co op. Tesco Extra. We'll go to the first offence, I think. First offence, Sainsbury's has been replicated. Oh, nominate someone for two spoons of mustard or take the ball of doom. The ball of doom. Was a new addition to the game. And no, it's not one of Big John's bollocks. If players get a card that involves a ball of doom, they must attempt to throw the ball of doom in one of the cups, like beer pong, to avoid punishment. You get two attempts. Who's handwriting this? <laughs> if landing a shot in the cups, um, if you get it in, nominate someone for two mustard and two hot sauce. If you miss, you can't nominate. Just remember, I'll no, I'll there. just do two oh, spoons of mustard, please. Sorry, sorry, Guff, mate, it's got to be. Oh. <laughs> oh. The judge want to administer the dosage? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He's <laughs> giggling. That's all right, isn't it? That's all right, too fair. They slide it up in. I'm not a fashion. Well done, well done. Well done, well done. Let's go for. Mazda. Porsche. Toyota. Mercedes. Car. Bike. <laughs> we're going to go back. What was the accusation? Too much humming and hurry. There was a lot of. Uh, yeah, I do think. think so yeah. Can't you can't delay. You I'm playing ball, ball, do. Yeah, go and you read it. Have a hefty spoon of cat food or play the ball of doom. So you, if, so you get three shots at this. If you get one in, you nominate someone else to do cat food. You can't sit up in that. Yeah. You might as well, right? Oh, oh, Alex, oh, go, go, go. Hey, Alex. 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 Hey, uh, look, I'm going travelling for a couple of months and um, look, I've got a spare ticket. I'm standing on a barge if you want to come. <laughs> Big soul. It's not looking good, Briff. Don't think anyone wants to spend a summer on a barge with you on the Thames, mate. Let's just f*** it all off and hire a barge. But anyway, it was time for Cousin Tell to play Ball of Doom. <laughs> He has three attempts to get one ball in. If he gets it in, he nominates someone to eat one spoon of cat food. But if he misses, he does two spoons of cat food for himself. Do I hit it for me, yeah? No, no, for me. <laughs> if you had one shot or one opportunity, well, Cousin Tell's got three shots, but anyway, to stop yourself eating cat food, would you capture it? Or just let it slip? Bellingham, Saka, Tawny, Trent, pressure? What pressure? Pressure is for tyres. Well, Cousin Tell ain't letting this slip. And he's not eating cat food today. Oh! 
chunks, hopefully. So it's, it's, only, it's all edible, it's all human edible. How many spoons? Just two. One. <laughs> no, you've got to do two. You're just the one, you're just what? the one. Oh my god. It's a bit underneath. It's a bit underneath. <laughs> no, no. It's a bit underneath. No, no, no. It's not a Meow, meow. That's the nearest you'll get to any pussy. He's gonna be sick. 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 Follow him, come So, you've got the same problem as me, you can't get atop the fitcher. <laughs> he's done well there. Yeah, he's done well, he's done well, he's done well. Doritos. Crisps. Snacks. Walkers. Doritos. <laughs> so choose wisely, young yeah, man. Yeah, you've been alright so far. Take the ball of doom, you got three shots. If you get it in. <laughs> so must remove his top for three whole rounds. If you don't get it in, it's a spoonful of hot sauce. Yeah. What, for me? Yeah. yeah. That's because you lost. Come on, you've got to try it. Come on, let's go. It's not, it won't get it again. What happens if he misses? He's got hot sauce if he misses. Oh. 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 No pressure, Tell. Bellingham, no pressure. Saka, Tawny, Trent, pressure. No pressure. Oh, he's at the bottom size. There's only one sort of measure around the table. Lovely. That'll kick you now. Give it five minutes. Come on. Yeah. Right, well, you start. Dog. Cats. Rabbit. Animals. Pig. Mouse. Rat. Guinea pig. Bird. Fuck. Bird. Oh, fuck off. off. <laughs> <laughs> you have done well, Tim. Well done. Another ball of doom. Yeah, you got three shots again, but if you miss, you, it's two spoons of mustard and two spoons of mustard. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that's Jesus. Fine. Two and two. Oh, oh, oh that was so close, Tim. That was close. If he doesn't get all, if he yeah. gets one. Oh! oh. 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 Armour, Bellingham, Saka, Tawny, Trent, pressure. Oh! oh. Come on, come on, I've been there three times. I've had a shot. Three on the pump. Uh, which way do you want it? Do you want the mustard first or do you want the mustard? Do you know what? I've won one of each. Oh! 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Here comes the chaser. Here comes the chaser. Fair play. I'll give you some more. How's that came on with it? Oh! Oh my god. Hang on, hang on. Nah, that's not it. Guilty. Guilty. What happened? Take your pick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Three spoons of hot sauce followed by that down in the drink of the black <coughs> choice. Of Ooh. whose choice? It's got to be too bad. You, you can make a concoction of curry sauce, yeah. hot sauce, oh, and mustard. Yeah. yeah, curry sauce, hot sauce, so and mustard. Yeah. Is it hot? 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 Is it h
So Matramel did three spoons of hot sauce, while we made up our own little drink for him. It consisted of the fat left over from the Chinese ribs, more hot sauce, mustard, a bit of Diet Coke, and a splash of water. Bon appetit, Al. All in one go as well, no holding back. Yeah, go. Thinking of you, sir. And that is how you do it. Now onto the last few rounds. Mazda. Mercedes. Car. Jaguar. Tesla. Range Rover. Oh, BMW. Oh, fuck's sake. He's a man. He could be lucky. He could be lucky. He could be nominated Soul. This is brilliant. You don't have to play in the next round, it's the last round. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't have to play the next round, it's sweet, I'm fine. You must hold hot sauce in your mouth for the whole round. If you spit it out, you've grouped this round for the whole round. Yeah. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. You know which way to go, yeah? He's got to put it in his yeah. mouth, though. Wait till, what, go. Dog. Cat. Animal. Rabbit. Mouse. Rat. Parrot. Duck. Dog. Horse. Frog. Bird. Emu. Armadillo. Dinosaur. Crocodile. Zebra. Lion. Orangutan. Reptile. Amphibian. Elephant. Monkey. Cat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was out of a round. Call a girl and say you've got a sausage roll making cooking class in two weeks time. What they'd like to come. <laughs> was it sausage roll making? Yeah. 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 So you've had it booked for six months. <laughs> it's come up. And you're really excited. You've got, you, you've got to have someone else to make the sausage rolls with. Okay. So your mum's pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum's pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> Got any ice money, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite expected. Uh, oh, well, this is a this is a really random uh, request as well. To be fair, about that. I think you'll be I think you'll be excited by it though. Ooh, do so, tell. So, <laughs> So I've I've, um, I've got some some uh, some tickets for a sausage roll making um, course in in, uh, in a few months' time, and, uh, and and I wondered if you'd like to come with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's let's make let's make it happen. It's Cumberland sausages. It's com Cumberland sausages only, though, apparently. Only Cumberland sausages, hundred no, percent. It is, it is, and we're going to make it happen. I'm a slag for a sausage roll. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. That was a great moment. That was brilliant. Yeah. Well, listen, you're halfway in there. You might as well just try and do it. How are you? Fine, thank you. What have I done? Uh, no, I just want to speak. Am I allowed to speak at the no. Uh, Alright, perfect. Just, just stay like that, I just want to talk to you privately. Okay. Um, so long story short, I'm actually going uh, travelling in a couple of months. Um, okay. And what it is, I'm actually standing on a beautiful barge in the bar, and uh, just wanted to come with me. I've got, I need someone to, you know, have a good time with, make some memories. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. Talking about a barge and travelling. It's but it's only in London. <laughs> By Stratford. So, so you've had a barge in London. By Stratford. By Stratford. A barge is like a barge where people live. By Stratford. Yeah. Isn't that those like barbecue things that people hire? Yeah, you live for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Say my mum's pulled out. We've got one for about six weeks. You sure we don't want to? Say my mum's pulled out. That's fine, but thank you very much. You should, my mum's pulled out though. I need some. <laughs> Yeah, but no. she's pulled out, so I can't. <laughs> You're his last resort. Please, say please, I beg you. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> well, still no luck for Sol. Poor sod. But anyway, Big Courts was in the book. A big thank you to our sponsors again for making this possible. The Bosch Army always stick together, so go and check out the description to check them out. They're the best at what they do. Until next time, Le Bosch.